This is a case that Dr. Rober has the other day that was a retreatment of a number 31. And uh, it was kind of interesting, thought I would post it. Um, Dr. Rober's found a fracture in the distal canal, but and then we got the tooth after it was extracted, and we didn't see a fracture anywhere when we looked at it. So we were wondering, gosh, um, maybe, maybe we made the wrong call on the case. Uh, when I stained it, you had your typical cemental type fractures that you see on every tooth. But when I scraped away the cementum, then it became obvious that the tooth did have a vertical root fracture. Uh, but had I not scraped the cementum away, we would have thought that um, it wasn't fractured. But in fact, after all the cementum was scraped off, there were multiple fractures, not only on the distal root, on the mesial root as well. So it was kind of an interesting finding. Um, and then I, I, since I had access to the root, uh, Dr. Roberts had taken all the gutta perch out, so I decided to bisect the root and just look at the surface of it under the SEM. And lo and behold, the entire canal wall, the whole length was covered with a very, very thick biofilm, just covered. So I don't know how successful it would have been, even if it wasn't fractured.